Williams. Call back to the thing? Shit. Okay, I'm intrigued now. I'm just so done with this shitty assignment. There's just too much research to do in just two days. <laughs> Jerk, you're not even listening to me. I'm sorry, babe, do you say something? <laughs> you know what? Screw this getting sleepy. Let's just meet up tomorrow before class. But the movie is just I getting... I know, I'm just really, really, really tired. And with you here, I wouldn't be able to resist your sexy ass. I do have a sexy ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you should probably get some sleep. I'm gonna finish up a couple things, but I'll text you before I go to bed. Love you, babe. I love you too. It feels a little forced with the dialogue, but it's okay. I mean, we'll see. It works. Play audio file. What is this? Like the, th the ring or something? Listen to the audio, pass it on. Eliza Brom ran a B&B &B during the Great Depression. Eliza she Brom. lured in drifters with cheap rates and hot meals, then slaughtered them in a hidden space behind the bathroom mirror. Oh, that took a turn. Police discovered an assortment of jars containing the eyes of the victims preserved in formaldehyde. She was arrested and sentenced to death. During the trial, she told the crowded courtroom that she would come back through a mirror, an invocation, and the windows to the cell. During the investigation, a single record was recovered from her bedroom. When they played the record, the audio repeated the words, M. Crow, Shavem. I think it's a way of summoning her spirit. M. Crow, Shavem. Why, why would you, why would you do that? Why, why would you do that? That was pretty lame. <laughs> Something's there. Oh boy. I just just say it. I don't yeah, I'd say it in my head first and then later on just Oh boy. the phone was gone. Nice baseball bat by the bed. Okay. There's someone in my house. Stay calm. Help is on the way. Pulls her back. Yeah. 
is creepy. So that was a short horror film in Vogue from Carlos Amor de Leon, and this was really good. It was slow moving, but then at the end, the last minute and a half was in your face, intense. I don't like those little child or creepy low voice overs. It's just, it just gets to your bones, and if you listen to it with headphones on, the effect is even more crazier. And I love that intro with the title of this short horror film, a callback to The Thing with John Carpenter and a callback to the old first, very first movie, The Thing, or The Thing from Another World. Loved it, loved it, loved it, and the whole aspect of the ring with, you know, it going on to a next person, but it's not, the, the person's dead, but it's that little witch or whatever it is actually, you know, giving it out to the other. It's interesting. I would love to see a sequel to this because you can tell that the boyfriend now has the video. I'm going to see what's going to happen with that. Maybe we can change a little bit of what's going to happen with his story, but who knows? It's going to be great to see if there is a sequel to Invoke. I'll leave a link in the description box below to the short horror film Invoke. You guys can check it out and let me know in the comment section below what you thought about the short horror film. And I'll see you guys in the next reaction video.